Tell them about that. Man. So what? Uh, um, the, the Mexican, the Mexican be coming to America from, from 722 BC. Now the white man say you can't come in the damn land. If I come in your house and rob your damn house, do I have a right to do that? No. So how the hell you do Donald Trump tell the Mexican they don't belong in America? This is their damn land. It's a sin. It's a sin. Hey, and your white people are paying for that damn crime, man. You're against Democrats. Your white you, you, you have a damn Democrat. We don't give a damn about Democrats. I'm against what? Yes. Because you know why? Because the black and Hispanic been in America your thousands of damn years. Came from Africa. You're okay? No, no, my forefather came from Israel. Yeah, my forefather came, came from, from Israel. Ireland. I'm not no, guess, guess what? You're not a real Irish. Who the hell tell you were Irish? You are not my damn Roman baby that stole iron under the damn Caesar. You don't belong in Iran. You, don't, you belong in the damn Europe, up, up, up in the damn cave. My DNA says I have black blood No, no, your DNA is My DNA says I have black blood in Your DNA is inaccurate. I have black okay? blood You wish you had black blood You were right, you were right. You tell me you're damn Sicilian now? I had my DNA tell oh, I have you, black you know, blood. You know, the problem, you know the problem with these people? This is very serious. You know the problem with these people? These people like to go around robbing damn people land. Kill them, rape their women. Look what they did to the damn Taino you know, Indians, man. Well, you it's hide your women. Shit. Your women can't even talk. I wonder how many of you Irish, so called Irish, don't belong right. in this country. They're not, they're not Irish, going. How, how many are going to round up? American I wonder how many of you shit. Italians who don't belong in this country are going to round right. up. I wonder how many of you fake Jews that this country pumps millions of dollars yeah, yeah, over there yeah, in the yeah, Middle yeah. East or Israel are going to stay in this country illegally. Yet you're going after the Mexicans and people of color in this country. Right. You're a goddamn disgrace, well, man. Uh, disgrace. Well. And it's a lie. It's a lie. Like and they got America. Donald Trump. And then America. Donald Trump is calling Hillary crooked. You think Donald Trump isn't crooked? This whole system is crooked. From Wall Street to uh, 14th Street, right. this whole thing. Hell no, I didn't vote. What am I going to vote? No, I'm not going to help anything. I didn't, what you the hell? It's corrupt. Office, Donald Trump himself said it's corrupt. It's always been corrupt. You helped a dictator get it's an answer, it's, an answer, it's, it's corrupt. Joseph Stalin said, jo Joseph Stalin said, it's not your vote you that counts. Trump it's who counts office. the votes. Yeah. It's who counts the votes that decide who's going to be right. the big man or the president or right. a person in power. Yo, if Wall Street is corrupt, the educational system is corrupt, right. transit is corrupt, vote. how the hell, the court, if the court system is corrupt, how the hell is everything not corrupt? Right. You sound crazy. Right. You talk about dictator. Right, right, right. The dictatorship didn't just start with Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Trump. What about Dick Cheney? What about George Bush? They what about Bush. going over there in Iraq and bombing and killing? Give me one of the signs on the Iraqi team. Trump is bombing worse. Is a, Trump is, is worse a, than Trump Bush. ain't worse than Bush. Trump, Trump, okay? Trump ain't worse than Bush. Bush killed millions of people, him and Dick Cheney, based on a lie that they had chemical yeah, warfare. I agree with you. Trump is not worse than Bush. I all of them are the same. Clinton destroyed Haiti. They you. all yeah. the same. They are all, not the, all same. the same. Don't throw it on Trump. Trump just got in office a hundred days now. What about all the, the wickedness that has been going on in this country for years and years and years? What about that, man? Don't blame everything on Trump. Okay, Trump just started. Get out with Trump. I like Trump. You know why I like Trump? Because he's a true racist and he lets you know to his face. He doesn't sneak around like Bill Clinton and lie like Bill Clinton. He tells you who he is. Bill Clinton is a damn racist. Bill Clinton is taking all the wealth from Haiti right now. Destroying the Haiti. Exactly. Bill Clinton put more black and up minorities in prison than any other president in the United States. Right. Bill Clinton is a goddamn right. racist. Give me Isaiah 61. Okay. Isaiah 61. Yeah, admitted he made a mistake. Let's see what the Bible said. Let's see what the Bible said. A mistake they called a million and billions a lot. You're calling, you're European calling you call the Mexican aliens, right? Millions of lives. You're calling the Mexican aliens. Let's see what the Bible said about you, you're right. Give me Isaiah 61. I'm not against Hold on. First of all, listen, sir, let me ask you a question. When Columbus came to America, what was what was Columbus' weapon? What was what? When Columbus came to America, what was his weapon? What was his weapon? His weapon, yes. Probably disease. Disease, disease exactly. <laughs> disease, right? Disease and the damn sword. When Colum when when the Europe, when the Roman took over Ireland from the blacks, what was their weapon? They murdered millions of blacks and took over Ireland. When the white man went to went to England and took over England from the blacks, what did they kill? They murdered millions of people, right? When the white man came to damn Germany, what did they came with? They murdered millions of Germans, which were black people, okay? So every everywhere you white people been, you like damn cancer, man. You spread all your disease over the damn world. And you got some nerve calling us aliens? Well, we've been in America all of our damn life, okay? I'm a, I am was born in damn Jamaica, but I'm a, I'm, my, my forefather came here way, way back before you damn European. And you got some nerve talking, well, you need a damn green card. What the hell do you need a green card for? The, the Mexican is our brother. They don't need no damn green card. This is their damn land. Okay? Texas, New Mexico, California, Colorado. That's the Mexican land. 
So if, if Donald Trump tell the Mexican go back home, I'm guess not, what? I'm He's to make a damn law for stealing. I'm because guess you. what? All these land belongs to Indians. And they, they, they murdered millions of Indians in South Dakota to build their pipeline, man. I'm not against them. Okay? But the pro I'm not saying you do. But I'm just saying it's what Donald Trump is doing and other Europeans. And also, a lot of black Americans, they, in they involve, they, they, they vote for damn Trump. Okay? They vote for Trump because there are a lot of these blacks that are born in this country. Okay, and I said all them, they don't like the Mexican because the first thing they said the Mexican stole my damn job. But if the Mexican leave now, who the hell gonna do the job for five dollars an hour? Nobody. You see? This they land their land. And God, you think God is pleased with that what they do to the Mexican? The young girl that they sent a damn chip, sent her home and took her baby to put in foster care? Do you think God pleased with the white man doing to the black people? Or what they do to the Mexicans? He ain't pleased with that. Millions of thousands of Mexicans roll up in damn chain like they're prisoners. They're not prison. They got people, man, and the law gonna judge your damn white people, you, man. But you're okay? the one that, I see hey, you're, you're the one white. that separates the white from the black. Listen, you know why? Because God is about when, when Esau and Jacob born, read it, hold on, no sir. Good. When Esau and Jacob born, God is about separatists. Because when two children born, Esau and Jacob, God said one should be separate from the other. So God is about separatists. It's always it's always been separate, like she said. When just Trump just says because when, of the pigment of your skin, you're when, when, be Trump, when Trump when That's Trump when Trump let me ask you a question. When Trump says let's make America great again, meaning again, meaning in the past America was one time great, right or wrong? I think it's great now. Okay, so, so it's it, it's not great now for black people. And when was it ever great? And, 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 and when was it ever great? Some black this is what I'm asking. Do. This is what I'm asking you. It's, when was it ever great for black people? He said, let's make America great again. When has America ever been great in the history of this country for black people? 30 years ago? 50 no. years ago? No. 100 years ago? America has never been great for blacks and Hispanics. So when Trump says, let's make America great, in Clinton, because he said it too, he so means let's make, make it white again. It's a, it's a, it's a, he's a, he's a it's white a undertow, guy. It's he's, a, a, he's out for white, rich people. Uh, uh, exactly. Exactly. So, so where does that leave? Why are you so, him? so, 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 we we but he, he, when he says that, it's a message to white people. That's right. Have you noticed that a lot of white people have been he's getting, talking to uh, have, you, have you noticed that a lot of white people have been aggressive? Since he's taken office, yes. have been outspoken since yes. he's taken office. Yes. So make America white again. Great uh, right again is make America you know white Bannon? again. He's a racist. They're all racist. Well, he's, they're all he's racist. running the administration. They're all racist, and they're the black people that's in Congress or have any parts of this country in a high position are empty suit sellouts. It's that simple. Sorry. Okay. Good. Give me Isaiah 6 so what five. do we disagree over? They call them Mexican aliens. Let's see what God said about what the Europeans. Let's see. It's okay. going to the Bible. Not then. only European alone, you so called Arabs are also the other nation. Let's see what the Bible said. Because you got to understand this, right? You got European up in, in, in Israel, right? You got white people in Ireland. You got white people in Germany, Russia, England, all the motherland. Did God give you these land? Are you stole it from the blacks? Let's, let's be real. All the land that white people inhabit in Europe right now, they stole it. We could name every one of them, even Turkey. Who's, who the hell belong in Turkey? Those land will belong to the Japheth. When God divided the earth, give me the power when God divided the earth. When God divided the earth, he gave every nation a boundary. Okay? He gave... I think the earth just he gave, by itself. Hold on, hold on. No give me two down, turn two and eight. When God divided the earth, right? When Noah divided the earth, the Lord put the spirit of Noah to divide the earth. He didn't Noah gave every nation and whole land on the planet earth. You're, show me in any history. Going by some old books. Sir, sir, hold, <laughs> show me any history that every any nation ever did what you so-called white people did, man. No other nation, not even the damn Africans, ever did what, what you white people did. You murder millions of people, you took their land, you bring a law that can affect them mentally, spiritually, and physically. That's that's that's, that's against the Bible. So let's see what the Bible said. Give me um, Deuteronomy 32 and 8. The Lord um, Noah divided the earth. It's Deuteronomy right. 32, verse 8. Right. When the, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. See, they're inheriting, right? Read on. We separated the sons of Adam. The Bible says he separated the sons of Adam. Adam himself was a black man when you read Genesis 2 and 7. Adam were black. So if people hate black folk, guess what? You hate God because you look just like black and Hispanic, according to the Bible. Read. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of, of the children of Israel. According to the number of the children of Israel. Now, Noah did divide the earth, right? He gave Shem the Middle East. He gave Japheth the land of the north, but known to as Europe. Okay? How did the European got up to Europe? You, there were many wars. Okay? The black came and kicked out the Japhetic tribe, right? The Japhetic, matter of fact, if you don't know who Japheth, Japheth are those people who look like Hawaiian, in, I said Hawaii, and Polynesian, those are the sons of Japheth. 
Okay. Me, can you specify yes. the number? Excuse me? The number. What number are you talking about? When you divide the nation. Not written. When you divide according it's not, to it's, the it's, number, it's, it's, what it's number is that? When the Bible says according to the number of the, the children Bible, of Israel. Listen, sir, according to the number, it did not tell you what number is that? What number it is. You, you got the children of Israel, the Bible said it cannot be numbered. Exactly. They had to Hosea 1 and 10, when you get a chance Why to read that. Okay. Why, why do, do believe, I believe that? Why do you believe a book that was written? You know why? Because years everything ago. come into pass. You know why? Hold on. Give me Joel 2 21. Let's see why we really believe in the Bible. Let me ask you a question, right? America is in the Middle is in the Middle East, right? Now let's see what the Bible says. America, America is in the yes. Middle East? What? America is in the Middle East. They're military. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Okay. Like in, when I say Middle East, like in talking about Iraq. Oh, Iraq. I see, I see Afghanistan, those countries. They have the mil they're militarized the people country, right? Give me Joel 221. Most says I bring the northern army to a land. Okay? Joel 2 21. It's Joel 2 yeah. verse 21. Right. Fear not, O land. Be glad right. and rejoice. Right. But the Lord will do great things. You see, the Bible said for the Lord will do great things. What is the great thing God is going to bring? He's going to bring the nation against each other in the Middle East. It's called a battle Armageddon. Now, let me ask you a question. When Russia bring their military ship, in, in, in Virginia. Why did job, why did America didn't blow it out of the damn sea? Why? Because we don't want a war. You're right. I guarantee you, you know why? Because America ought to pray in a small country don't have no damn weapon. What Russia is a big military power. Hol Holyfield and, 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 and Mike Tyson. So the Donald Trump said, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. How the hell are you the president? You don't know the hell Russia pilot a ship in Virginia? Come on, man. Because you know why? Because job, because Donald Trump knows that if he ever blow that ship, it would be a nuclear war between him and Russia. Yep. But guess what? And God gonna God it, God gonna just like when a woman pregnant, why means she feel pain there? Why means she's okay? That's the law say gonna try like a woman in travail in pain. When judgment day come, he gonna shut up the job system, he gonna cause chaos among the people, and it's gonna be a nothing but chaos in America, man. Okay? Little by little, the Mosai, when the Mosai created heaven and earth, he doesn't create a big, on a big bang theory like evolution, like what Sean Darren teach. He does step by step. The Mosai got to bring America down little by little, little by little. Like a snail crawling on the wall and finally collapse, boom. That's how America going to fall. Whether you believe it or not, because people don't believe America as a nuclear power, it's going to fall. The greatest empire ever ruled the earth was the British Empire, right? They fell and they have a daughter known as America. And America take out what the British left. The British take out what the Roman Empire left. Okay? So America is a country that's going to be destroyed by God because God is not pleased what America is doing. Men sleep with men. Women sleep with women. Nothing but confusion in this country, man. Abomination. The, the abomination destroying God's people. I don't people. think God the has anything to do with it. I think you it's sure? us you're that sure? does it. You sure? I'm going to show you God has something to do with it. If we destroy ourselves, I'm going to show you that's not, not true. God. I, I'm going to show you that God has something to do with bringing this place down. But when it comes to wickedness, the most I have nothing to do with it. Because the most I know, that's how you nation is at. Natural evil, man. The Bible tells you, man, as a, as a wicked, as, as, a, as a high and rusty, so it's wickedness, man. The white, they, 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 these people are just opposite to life. Everything white people does, they, they, they create movies. They like to show movies with people killing each other, man. Because they love blood. They love blood. It's, it's in your nature, man. You can't help it. They're just born wicked. The Bible said when the earth, when, when Christ come, the earth got divided into three pieces. You got God, the Israelite, the Gentile, and the wicked. Who is the wicked? You so-called European according to the Bible. Not Satan. We ain't talking about Satan. We're talking about the physical counterpart of the wicked, the so-called European. Read that part again now. Joel 2, 21. Continue. Be not afraid, right. ye beasts of the field. Right, the beasts of the field with the nation. Go ahead. For the pastures of the wilderness right. mm -hmm. do spring. Good. No, give me Joel 2, 32. Verse okay. 32. Right. Verse 32. Right. And it shall come to pass right. that whoever shall call on the name of mm. the Lord shall be delivered. Shall be delivered. Whosoever mean the Israelites. Not all nations, the Israelites, okay? But say something about it. not what I want. Read, read on right. from there. Oh, Je Jehoshaphat? Read, read that again. <laughs> no, no. Continue. Okay. Read, read that again from the beginning. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. See, right now our people are not calling on the name of the Lord because they believe in Christianity. Islam, like the two guys over here. You were Christians. The first, the Jews were called Christians first in Antioch. The Bible says, but our national. What we're trying to show, tell you, because you came in, in the, you came here on the tail end of what we was teaching, is that we're God's chosen people. We're the real Jews. You, ever, you live in New York, by the way. The, uh, the, the Hasidics, the people that walk around with the black, they're not the real Jews. They're converts. That's our nationality. That's what we're trying to show you. And the reason why white people rule over us is because we sinned against God more than a thousand years ago. 
So now, from the point we came you in, think Judaism began in Africa. We, we don't. We, Judaism is a religion that the fake Jews set up. Most High gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. That's what the Bible is about. It's not a book of Judaism. When you read the Bible, are you familiar with the Bible at all? Yeah. A bit. The uh, prophets, they didn't follow any religion or Judaism. They followed the commandments and the word of God. It's when white people in various nations got into power, they created what we call today. Moses let me finish. Let me finish. Moses let me, the people. What's that? Moses wrote the beginning of the Bible. Moses, but my point is, you're going away from the point. The prophets of old didn't follow religion. They followed the word you of God. You don't believe Moses was Jewish? I'm not saying, listen, he wasn't, he was an Israelite. He was a Jew. You understand? He was an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. But he didn't follow religion. You understand? You people. What about Abraham? You don't believe He didn't him. follow religion as well. But, um, um, come on. John 2 and 20. No, he said, he said that the Bible is not real, right? No, I'm asking a question. We already no, know. I, I asked you, I, I why you believe it. I, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Excuse me. Sorry said, about that. Sorry, my mistake. That? My mistake. Let's see why I believe it. John 2 and 20. Well, I'm going to see you next week. It's Joel 2 verse 20. Right. Far removed, far off from you. The northern army. The northern army is talking about America, right? Read on. And will drive him into a land barren and desolate. And what, that, what land that barren and desolate? The Persian Gulf, which is the what? Northern Iraq. Anybody knows history that will tell you straight. Every scholar knows it's America. Ain't America in the military, militarizing people coming to the Middle East now, especially Iraq? Taking the oil, Afghanistan taking the drug, the opium drug from the Afghanistanis? Yes. Now, what's America? That's a wild interpretation. That's a wild interpretation. Show it to me, I'm, it's my wild interpretation. I, I, I believe you're just. You know why? Because you don't know history. I'm going I'm to I'm prove something you don't know history. Give me Isaiah 13 and 1. When I read, when I read history, how much do you know history, sir, if you don't mind me asking? I know some history. You know some know history. Let me ask that question. Did the Medes ever had war with, with ancient Babylon? Did what? The Medes. The Medes. I don't know. No, you don't know. I don't know. That's basic history. The Medes never had war against Babylon. Now let's see Isaiah 13 and 1. Isaiah 13 and 1. It's Isaiah 13, verse 1. Right. The burden of Babylon. The Bible said the burden of Babylon. The word burden means trouble. Okay? Read on. Which Isaiah, the mm -hmm. son of Amos, did. Right, go ahead. Did see. Mm -hmm. Lift ye up, <coughs> lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. The Bible said, lift ye up a banner upon a high mountain. That banner is the Bible. The banner is something used for correction. Let me ask that question. According to, according to, uh, the banner is something used for correction, which is the Bible. It could be a flag. Okay. The banner could be a flag also, but according to the, according to this interpretation of the history, according to the Hebrew, it's talking about the word of God, the banner. I'm a property. The banner okay. brought the the banner brought you here. Right. <laughs> That's why you're here now. Exactly. Okay. Continue read. Exalt, exalt the voice unto unto them. And the Bible says, exalt me, lift your voice unto them. Now, where is that in ancient Babylon? The prophet will teach, or was on the street teaching against the ancient about the modern day about the Babylon Empire, the media or media Babylon Empire. What's the relevance of Babylon? I'm, no, the relevance of Babylon is. America is known as modern-day Babylon because America is a superpower with military, wide military army. That's and funny. also, That's ancient Babylon was known as what? Because Land the of Protestants confusion. called the, the Catholic Church the languages. Babylon. The more of Babylon. America is I mean, Babylon. Everybody, it depends anybody on knows, what you want sir, to use. The sir, you sir, can listen, translate it anyway. Anybody way knows history know America is modern-day Babylon. You ever heard Jamaica say Bundong Babylon? You ever heard that? They know America is modern-day Babylon. Okay? How do we know in the American modern day Babylon? Because the Bible tells you the law says I've set the Medes against them. It seems like the Bible okay? will tell you anything you want it to tell you. Yeah, and we gotta follow it. Because and, it's real. and Babylon is prophesied right. to be burned with fire. Right, exactly. And all nations would uh, weep and wet and cry when it's burned down. It right. can't be the Roman Catholic Church. Exactly. Sorry. Exactly. And when you read the book of Isaiah chapter 51, listen, all the guys gotta do is Google American modern day Babylon. He give he gave you many different chapters. The Bible tells them Babylon, mount, mount up to heaven, right? Now, let me ask you a question. When you look at the word mount, it means to travel up into space. Where is that in ancient Babylon? Ancient Babylon have a, 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 a space program. It's not. It's America. And these scholars know. So the Bible says ancient, modern day Babylon, mount up to heaven. And the Bible says that bring, bring them are, down. Are you American? No, I was born.